Hey everybody, it's me, Renfield, the Bearded Dwarven Princess, which means it's time for another Rings of Power rant video. And today, <laughs> we're back, back in action. Um, and this one got brought to my attention because of the recent petition that has been launched because HarperCollins is now republishing the Lord of the Rings books with Rings of Power artwork on the covers, which just... I got a little something in my mouth right now. Yeah. So I came across this at Bounding into Comics, which has been a source of a lot of my diversion, or my fun, I should say, um, reading through Rings of Power stuff, because they usually have a pretty heavy like irritation angle, which makes for fun reading. And this particular one is all about a petition that has been launched uh, to have HarperCollins, Amazon, and the Tolkien estate stop selling Rings of Power covers on the Lord of the Rings. So we're just going to stop for a minute and we're going to we're going to soak all that in right there because this is a combination effort between HarperCollins, Amazon, and the Tolkien estate. And of course, we can go over to the HarperCollins website. We can see these new up and coming um, books. Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers, Return of the King, and they also have the Omnibus Edition down here, which we're going to talk about more over at the um, this this website here, about any of the comics. So the 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 reason why this is so gross, um, if you go back to previous iterations of covers that were sold during Christopher Tolkien as he was the administrator of the Tolkien estate during his time we always got very tasteful covers usually by like Alan Lee or respected Tolkien artists um, but we have not seen that being the case ever since we are now in the new generation now I don't have a confirmation of who is running the estate these days but since I believe Tolkien has passed his wife is way too old to do anything and I'm pretty sure it's in the hands of the younger generation now and I don't know if Simon Tolkien has anything to do with this or not um, but I do know that as far as I understand things the Tolkien estate is now being ran by a combination of attorneys and the younger generation of the Tolkien clan which very clearly have only one objective in mind and that objective is to make as much money on the Tolkien name and the Middle Earth properties as humanly possible. And this goes back to some of the key phrasing that we found in the original press releases for um, the variety, uh, the Vanity Fair pieces and stuff for Rings of Power when it first came out. We had the showrunners and the executive producers and everybody at Amazon saying, you know, we want to exploit this intellectual property for, you know, and bring this new show to the masses. But the exploit, you know, that word when you're talking about creating a diverse portfolio of shows and movies and, and creative ventures around an IP, the word in and of itself doesn't mean anything bad until we see something like this, because this absolutely is nothing more than exploitation for financial gain, because we already had some amazing covers uh, on the books. Now that's not to say this hasn't been done before. FYI, this hasn't, it, this isn't the first time. This obviously, we got book covers when Peter Jackson's films came out as well, and those book covers um, reflected things from the films. The differentiating factor here is the fact that the Rings of Power has nothing to do with the Lord of the Rings. I'll, I'll say that again and I'll let it sink in. The Rings of Power has nothing to do with the Lord of the Rings. What do I mean by that? Well, we're going to talk about that. But before we do, I got to do my call to action because I got to make money. I'm a full-time content creator on YouTube and this is how it happens. So if you like this channel, first thing you need to do if you like this video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you get further Rings of Power updates from me as I continue to create content around the series. I'm also reading through The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings, and The Silmarillion through a series called Mondays in Middle-Earth, which happens every Monday at 11 a.m. You can check those out here on my YouTube channel. There is a link up here somewhere that you can click on to find more information about that. Of course, if you like what you hear today, here's how you can support. You can drop a super thanks right down there. Pick your amount. Buy me two bucks, cup of coffee. Donate five bucks. Buy me a sandwich. Donate 
more. Buy me a Ferrari. It's kind of up to you. I leave that open to your uh, interpretation. There's also a membership option down there for two ninety nine a month, and you can join as a member of the Adventurers Guild. We do a lot of fun stuff here for our members, including daily streams every single morning and every single night. I stream a lot of different video games and beyond, so hopefully we'll see you in some of those. You can always do a super thanks or a sticker on one of those. And of course, I'm also a game developer. You can find more information about the world of Weave in the Void over at my Patreon page, where I'm working with my brother and my wife on all things related to that project. It's patreon.com forward slash wandering hermits the three of us being the wandering hermits you can find more information below on all things related to that let's get back to this video so again it's not the first time we've seen this happen um, this obviously happened under peter jackson's films as well but the issue with it now is that the rings of power is not the lord of the rings i've said this before in my videos the rings of power is a show that is based around the second age as the showrunners themselves so arrogantly said during their initial uh press releases of the affair we are writing the novel that tolkien never did there is no novel about the Second Age. There's source material. We have things like the Silmarillion, which point back to events from the Second Age. They, of course, don't have the rights to the Silmarillion. They can only work within the rights that they have from the appendices of the Lord of the Rings and things that are mentioned in the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings books. So that being said, it screams exploitation in a bad way to have these new covers out because these covers have nothing to do with the Lord of the Rings. Nothing whatsoever other than perhaps, like, I, for, here's a good example. If we go over here and we look at the one for uh, The Return of the King, this is probably Sauron's fist, if I had to guess. Um, you know, so maybe that's a reference to Sauron. But it's, it's a far cry from, say, this book over here, which is... Um, the Fall of Numenor with illustrations by Alan Lee, who is a very respected Tolkien visualist, a, a, a very well-known Tolkien artist who has worked on many film adaptations. Um, and, and, and that's sort of what we've seen in the past is this type of, type of artwork from respected artists. And instead, now we're seeing these covers that really don't have anything to do with the Lord of the Rings material in and of itself, but are instead blatant, blatant, marketing images used to promote the rings of power show which is what is sticking in the craw sticking in the throat of many of the fans which is why dun 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 dun, dun um there is now a um change.org petition demanding that harper collins amazon and the tolkien estate stop selling rings of power book covers I said the petition states HarperCollins, Amazon, and as a rights holder of the Tolkien estate, have unjustly co-opted Tolkien's Lord of the Rings with covers from promotional material for Amazon's Rings of Power. This show is not an adaptation. Rather, Amazon is making something new within a pre-established framework designed by Tolkien, which Amazon is using creative license with. Mostly, this show contains vastly more content from modern showrunners, writers, producers, and corporate executives. Blah, 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 blah. For example, many of the show's characters, etc., are entirely original Amazon creations involved in their own originally embellished and stories. That's nine characters, a whole fellowship of original Amazon characters we know of from just the pre-release promotional material alone. Whatever anyone's stance or opinion on the Rings of Power is, it is a separate entity entirely from the Lord of the Rings. There is a concern about the use of these book covers in question, with the likely inevitability of the Rings of Power's iconography being incorporated into wide culture use online in videos, posts, comedians, memes, and art stars, blah, 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 blah. It would be a tragedy to have Tolkien's works scrubbed and colored over like a palimp set, conflating and confusing them with Amazon's upcoming original series. It then quotes Christopher Tolkien in regards to the commercialization of his father's work, saying, Tolkien has become a monster, devoured by his own popularity and absorbed into the absurdity of our time. The chasm between the beauty and seriousness of the work and what it has become has overwhelmed me the commercialization has reduced the aesthetic and philosophical impact of the creation to nothing there's only one solution for me to turn my head away and that ladies and gentlemen is more than likely what you should be doing with rings of power if you are of the same mindset turn your head away because the reality is a change.org petition isn't going to do jack shit 
to stop them from doing this because it's all part of profiteering. Amazon paid $250 million for the rights to make this show, and they've sunk another estimated $750 million into the commitment to do a five-season show. And the Tolkien estate, like it or not, whoever's manhandling that now is fully behind the exploitation, in the negative sense of the word, of every penny of money that they can eke out of the Tolkien name and the Middle Earth Enterprises franchise. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen, so just get used to it, because this kind of shit ain't going to be stopping anytime soon. Thoughts, comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. See you next week. Rant on, ladies and gentlemen.